I'm Claire and I'm one of the nurses at the Royal Children's Hospital. I help look after children who are coming in to have surgery to remove their tonsils and adenoids. Your surgeon will have explained what will happen during the operation and I'm here to explain what to expect after the operation. Having the tonsils and adenoids removed, a tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy is a safe and common surgical procedure for children. This information is useful whether you're having the operation at the Royal Children's Hospital or another hospital. Let's get started. Having your operation and coming home from hospital is a big relief, but it's also the beginning of an important stage of your child's recovery. At times, it will be difficult. Your child's pain and general well-being may get worse for a time and then slowly improve. Recovery from the surgery means two weeks at home from school, childcare or kinder and resting from energetic activities. These two weeks will seem long at times. Your child's sleep may be affected and this might affect other members of the family. So be ready for some disruption and to give a few extra hugs. The thing that will affect your child the most is pain. This operation causes more pain than usual and the pain can actually get worse for the first few days before eventually getting better. Four days after the operation is usually when the pain is strongest and this pain can last for up to five days. Providing regular and appropriate pain medication is important to make your child as comfortable as possible. Follow the pain medication advice provided by your hospital. Pain medication needs to be given at regular intervals. That means waking children to take the next dose, even if that's in the middle of the night. The pain from the operation often makes it uncomfortable to eat and drink. And the pain is worse at night, just when your child needs to sleep and recover. When your child eats and sleeps less, they have less energy and it affects their mood. When your child drinks less, they can become dehydrated, which will also affect their energy and maybe cause a headache. And pain medicines, dehydration, and a different diet can all make it hard to poo. So regular pain relief is super important to help your child settle, sleep, drink, and eat. Extra fluids and some fruit in the diet, even as a puree, will help keep the body nourished and prevent constipation. If the pain medication is not helping or you are worried about your child, please visit your family doctor or take them to the emergency department. Bleeding from the mouth can happen after the operation. If your child is bleeding, notice how much they are bleeding and if it's affecting their breathing. If your child spits out more than this much blood, about the size of a 50 cent piece, you should have it checked at a hospital emergency department. Not every emergency department has a specialist ear, nose and throat doctor to call on at all times. But every emergency department can monitor your child and keep them safe until contact with your surgeon or hospital can be made. If your child is bleeding at home so much that it's affecting their breathing, Call triple zero for an ambulance. Before you go home from hospital, make sure your surgeon has given you a plan for what to do if bleeding happens. Having the tonsils and adenoids removed is a safe operation with a short stay in hospital. But it's a big operation, so it needs two weeks of recovery time at home and regular pain relief. Remember to seek help if you're worried about your child and be kind to yourself and the rest of your family too. Together, you've got this.